Figma just launched one of the biggest updates of the year, including the Figma AI Copilot, some paid features becoming free, and even some smaller but very useful features in things like dev mode, Figma sites, and more. So let's check out all these incredible updates. Okay, so the first feature they're introducing is basically a Figma AI Copilot. It's called Prompt to Edit. Now, Prompt to Edit is basically a button that will pop up anytime we select anything. It could be an entire frame or it could be a small section inside an entire design. Clicking that will bring up a little AI window inside which you will be able to type in any prompt to edit the design further. So if you want to change the design from a compact card to an expanded card, you can ask it to do that. You can even create iterations in different states of the current design. So if there is normal UI design with different data already filled up, you want an empty state of that design. It will create an empty state. Apart from that, it can also convert a light mode to a dark mode and vice versa. And it will adjust everything accordingly. Apart from that, prompt to edit can be very useful for things like text editing. So if you want to change the tonality of the text in your current existing designs, you can ask AI or this feature to do that. One thing that I found very useful about this feature is that you can actually create consistent designs with AI. So if your design is somewhat inconsistent or there are some inconsistencies, you can select those elements and based on like a base design, it will make sure that all the elements are consistent and make any changes to make sure that is the case. You can even make your designs a little more accessible. Ask it to make your designs more accessible, including text, images, icons, everything can be changed around. Also, they showed that you can now replace fonts with AI. So name any font that exists and it will replace it with that. Now, I'm not sure how it will tackle any font that it hasn't found on the system, for example. But let's see how that turns out to be. This demo behind me is what they're showcasing to everyone. This is still in alpha. But all of you guys can sign up for this as long as you are on a paid or like a premium plan, like a pro plan. Otherwise, if you're not on a pro plan, this feature will come directly when, of course, it comes out to the public. But if you're on a pro plan, you can actually test it out. Until then, I mean, you can look at the demo and see what is coming soon. Or you can just apply for the demo. Okay, so the next update I am very excited for. Figma Sites is now free for everyone. Whether you're on a starter plan, which is their free pl plan, or an education slash student plan. So no matter what plan you are on, it is now available for everyone everyone to use. For the first time in a long time, we're seeing a paid feature coming to free users in Figma. So this is like a day to celebrate. But apart from that, there are also some updates that have come to Figma sites. Let's check them out. Apart from that, Figma sites has brought a lot of little but useful updates. One being that now you can have HTML tags on layers. So essentially you can assign HTML tags and that is very useful because now it's more of a web development tool as well, which is necessary if you're launching a site directly from inside Figma. You now also have accessibility controls. So now you'll basically be able to give names to images like accessibility names. So in case uh, someone who is visually impaired looks at an image or wants to see an image on a screen, um, this website will now be accessible for them because of that little name that now can be given to it. There's also password protection, which is now here, which we see with platforms like Wix, Framer, Webflow. I think those are the features that are now coming to Framer sites as well. There's also a native cookie banner that they're introducing. So now you can add a cookie banner and then tweak it further. So if your website asks for cookies, now Figma will be able to kind of handle that. You also now have access to upload custom fonts onto Figma sites. So if you have a sites project, you can upload a custom font and then apply that font directly from the font selector. This brings Figma sites closer to something like Framer, even though I would say Framer is two or three steps ahead still because Framer now has, you know, a deeper CMS and more controls on animations and interactions and much more. Figma sites in that matter is still somewhat basic. It allows for a lot of designing. Yes, custom designing, custom grades, everything is there. But the control that you have with Framer, it's still quite far from that. Okay, the next update is Figma AI is getting a little more powerful now thanks to Google's Nano Banana. So now with Google's Nano Banana, 
you can actually now tweak images and add objects to existing images. So I'll show a demo in the background. If you bring in tiny images, say like a hat or like a mustache or something into the canvas, select that and the image and then ask the AI to include all the objects inside the image or apply that to that image. It will apply it seamlessly as if, you know, you can do Photoshop level tasks now inside Figma using AI, which is crazy. Nano Banana has really made all these tools way more powerful than they used to be and also making it useful. Earlier, a lot of AI was a little laggy and it didn't seem useful. This feature, the Nano Banana being included here is pretty super useful. So if you have Figma AI, you can now access this free of cost. Last but not the least, for people who like an enhanced contrast experience or people with maybe visual impairment, whatever it is, Figma now has enhanced contrasts. That means you can set it up in such a way that the text and all the main elements have a higher contrast as compared to the backgrounds for better readability, especially at, at night and things like that. So I think it's pretty cool that they're focusing on such little tiny features as well, which can make our lives a little easier. All right, guys, so if you like this video, hit the like button. That kind of helps me learn what kind of videos you like and you don't like, and then I'll make those videos which you don't like. Again, hit the subscribe button and make sure you click on the bell icon. If you do not want to miss my design videos every single week, I keep you guys updated with everything, whatever is going on. Even though I'm traveling, I will make sure that I'm keeping you updated. All right, guys, thank you so much for all your support. And I'll see you in the next one. Until next week, take care. God bless.